Hi, this is Rich Harrington of the Producing Video Podcast. I'm here with Deej Cooley with Adobe, and he has a very cool job, which is, first it was bringing the Adobe Media Player out, now it's even more. Tell me what you guys have been up to. Uh, well, uh, just last Wednesday, we released Adobe Media Player 1.0 to, to the world. We've gotten great acclaim uh, from the press and from, uh, from the bloggers. Uh, it's going really well. Uh, we're showcasing it here at a National Association of Broadcasters conference here in Las Vegas. And obviously, there's lots of media players in the world. Why does the world need one more media player? What's different here? Well, uh, Adobe Media Player is unique in that it supports free ad-supported content. Uh, it has support for dynamic branding uh, around each individual piece of content, uh, dynamic advertising around each individual piece of content, the ability to measure the use of that content offline, and the ability to protect that content offline. And we also support a lot of streaming content. So whether you're streaming or downloading content, Adobe Media Player uh, can be used to distribute your content and monetize it. So this means that for podcasters, they could use this player and they can actually add additional branding, run their own banner ads for things, drive traffic, things like that? Yes, exactly. We support standard media RSS feeds uh, with either uh, Flash Video or MPEG-4 uh, video files with H.264 and AAC. So a lot of the uh, video podcasting that we see out there today already runs in Adobe Media Player today. Uh, with some simple additions to the RSS feed, you can add dynamic branding to your content and have a rich, immersive experience around your content. So we personally found that we were able to take our regular iTunes feed with the same media files and with just a couple of lines of code tweak, it's running in both places, right? That Good. was the goal, exactly. So where's this going to go? You guys have a great relationship with corporations around the world. Is this going to help bring podcasting to new audiences? Yeah, in many ways, um, we're big believers in podcasting on RSS. We actually think that the major broadcasters are podcasters who produce really high quality content. And so really it's a podcasting world in our future. Um, the major broadcasters, the mid tail, the long tail, everybody's going to be distributing and using RSS. And it's a benefit for end users because they'll be able to aggregate all their favorite shows in one place, whether it's prime time or long tail. And where do people go to find out more? What's the best website? Where can they get the most information? Uh, go to adobe.com slash go slash MP. You can read about Adobe Media Player. You can click a badge, automatically install it, uh, and start uh, aggregating your favorite shows. Thank you so much. This is Deej Kuli with Adobe. My name is Rich Harrington for Producing Video Podcast, and we're here live at NAB 2008.